If you're in 12th or in college, these are the seven top careers that you can get into in India in 2024. Hi everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma and in this entire video, I'll talk about seven careers that you can start with. How can you get into these careers? What degree or course you'll have to do? And I will also share some advice and how much money can you make in this particular career. Make sure that you watch till the end, hit the like button and subscribe and let's get started with the first one. And this is blockchain developer. Yes, we are talking about blockchain and Web3. Even though there was a huge fall in cryptos in the last two years, it is still one of the most high paid in demand jobs that you can get into in Web3. I live in Bangalore and so I'm friends with a lot of blockchain developers who are working in remote jobs with companies who are situated in the US or Europe and they are able to make upwards of 30 to 40 lakhs every single year as a blockchain developer. That is the power of getting into a field which has low supply and has a high demand. There are so many companies looking to hire experienced blockchain developers. There are very few experienced and skilled blockchain developers in the market. And hence, you can get in and find a lot of opportunities. My friend from college got a $100,000 per year offer as a blockchain developer working remotely in India. Number two, let's talk about how do you start in the field of blockchain development. The best thing about it is that you don't need to have a particular degree. While there are people doing a degree in computer science, bachelor's or master's, and then getting into blockchain development, you don't need a degree. All you need is experience and skills in front-end and back-end development. Along with that, you must know how to build blockchain decentralized applications or dApps. You need to learn languages like Solidity, JavaScript, and Python, and you need to learn about different blockchain platforms, like you have Ethereum, you have Cardano, you have Polygon, and you have others. You need to learn how to use these and build decentralized applications on them. There is an excellent video on my channel, which is all about blockchain development. So go and watch it where an experienced blockchain developer, my friend, talks about how can you learn it step by step with tons of free resources. Go out there, check out the video if you want to learn more about it. But it is clearly a in-demand field that you can get into and have opportunities for you everywhere. Just keep in mind that as a blockchain developer, you need to level up your skills very frequently because blockchain and Web3 is a very new and upcoming field. There are new updates coming up every single month and you need to stay up to date with all of them to get better opportunities. So ensure you understand that and go watch the complete blockchain developer roadmap on my channel, link in the description. Career number two is data scientists and AI engineers. It's certainly one of the most high demand careers that you can get into today and find amazing opportunities. There are so many companies which are raising millions of dollars to spend on hiring quality engineers who can build AI products and systems. For example, Pika.art is a AI startup wherein you can basically turn text to videos. Now this company has just three people, three co-founders, and they've raised $55 million. $55 million with just three people. And they are now hiring across multiple roles, as you can see on the screen. There are so many different examples of companies like this. Companies all around us are collecting buttloads of data about their users to gain valuable insights about how can they optimize their experience for the users. What you will be doing as a data scientist will be taking this data and making sense of it all to come up with conclusions. What is the best way to deliver an experience so that the audience would want to use it? Or what insight can you gain from the behavior of the users using a particular platform or application? That is essentially what your role would be as a data scientist. As an AI engineer, on the other hand, you would be working on large language models and you would be building AI products and tools. The average salary of a data scientist is about 15 to 20 lakhs per year, while that of an AI engineer is about 20 to 25 lakhs lakhs every year and it's only going to go up from here. But let's talk about how do you become a data scientist? Well, you essentially need to first of all learn about basic mathematics, learn about a language like Python, start tinkering around with Python libraries like NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib. And once you know how to use them and use data and manipulate data in tables and rows and columns, the next step is for you to start building models. 
take in a data set, create a model that uses that data to come up with conclusions. There are so many projects that you can build that you can see on the screen like MNIST, there is Titanic data set, there are CIFAR 10 data set, there are so many data sets that you can use on Kaggle and you can start learning about data science and how it all works. The next step is for you to start using other libraries like you have TensorFlow, you have scikit-learn and you can start building models and once you're done with that, then you can start going up and start working with real world databases and start working with companies. It's not compulsory to have a degree in data science, but you should really understand how can you use data and how can you come up with conclusions and insights with the help of it. The biggest skill set of an AI engineer right now is building large language models. Check out the Andrew Karpathy's video Introduction to Large Language Models to learn more about what they are and then check out Andrew NG's multiple courses which are all about large language models and chat GPT and how can you build these models yourself on deeplearning.ai. They are all free courses, they are all very quick to do and that will tell you everything you need to start a career as an AI engineer. Career number three of 2024 is investment analyst. I have a friend of mine who is working in a corporate and she is making one crore every single year in her job. Her job is that of an analyst. As an analyst, she basically works for the company to find amazing opportunities to invest capital in. It could be startups, it could be big companies, it could be commodities, whatever becomes an investment. She analyzes how lucrative it is and submits the report to the higher authorities and then they take the decision to invest in it or not. It's a very lucrative and in-demand field wherein you get paid top bucks to analyze different companies and startups and opportunities while learning a lot about business and the world around you. To get into this field, you need to get into accounting and finance and have a degree in CA. I've made an in-depth video with Kushal Loda on my channel and that will give you an insight about CA and how can you get into it. He explained everything in depth, so go and watch it and you'll understand everything you need to know about CA and investment banking. There's also another lucrative career which is similar to this, which is called as management consulting, wherein the company that employs you has multiple clients and you are working with those clients to help them decide on business decisions. The client will come with a problem statement and you as a consultant will advise them for the right way to go about it. It could be anything from finance, business, accounting, management and your role is to basically become a problem solver. The best thing about it is that you get to travel around the country and the world, meet exceptionally talented people and get to learn from them. I have also made a video with Ritik Mehlawat who broke down everything you need to know about consulting. Go watch that if you have not already. On average, investment analysts and management consultants can be making anywhere from 20 to 30 to 40 lakhs every single year. It depends on your skill and the company that you're working for. With that, let's talk about career number four and that is of a digital marketer. There are so many companies hiring people in the marketing roles and their role and responsibility is to effectively build a brand of this company on social media platforms. And as a digital marketer, your role is to build an online presence for this business so that people would discover them and would love to buy from them. It's a huge field. I'll be making a separate video about digital marketing, but underneath digital marketing, you have something like social media marketing, you have email marketing, you can have SEO, you can have landing page optimization, you have content marketing and so much more. India's top funded startups have hired a ton of digital marketers that basically use this capital and deploy it to get results for the company on social media and other platforms. You can easily make anywhere from 10 to 20 lakhs on average every year as a digital marketer. But to become a digital marketer, you don't specifically need a degree. However, you do need a portfolio and something that can show proof of what you know about social media and digital marketing. Maybe you have a blog that you started. Maybe you've been making videos on YouTube and you understand about user behavior and psychology. Maybe you've launched an app yourself and gained users for it. When you show this proof, that tells about your skill set, and anyone would love to hire you if you have that with you. There is a course on HubSpot Academy, which is a certification on digital marketing that you can do to learn the basics about it. And then you just have to learn everything in depth with various articles, with your own experience, with experimentation, and that is how you get better in digital marketing. I've been in this field for the last three years, and the best advice I can give you is to always keep learning more and more about what people really want and what is trendy. 
And if you know that, you can take any brand and you can turn them into a viral sensation on social media and in the internet. Career number five is UX design. Steve Jobs used to say this very famously. In most industries, the difference between a mediocre product and an amazing product is probably 2x or 3x. The best headphone in the market would probably be 2x better sounding than a mediocre headphone. The best calculator in the market would probably be 2x or 3x better than that of the average calculator. But when you talk about software and specifically user experience, if you build the best user experience, it can be 50 times or 100 times better than the average experience. And that is the value of a skilled UX designer to build experiences for users that they can never forget. In a world with infinite distractions, if you can build an amazing user experience for an application or a website that will actually help them get more users and more sales and more visits, they would love to pay you a lot in the process. I have friends of mine who are making about 15 to 20 lakhs as a UX designer, but you need to understand this is a skill which doesn't require you to have a degree, but again, you would need to have a lot of proof. The tool to use is Figma and you need to be exceptionally great at understanding design and how can you create a great user experience for someone. You need to learn the basic fundamentals of design and then start experimenting, start creating your own applications, start creating your own interfaces and start showing it on social media and start taking feedback from people. There's an amazing course on UX design by Google on Coursera that you should absolutely do and that will teach you the basics of UX design. Next up, you can also become a product designer later on in this career. So you get promoted from a UX designer to a product designer wherein you are overlooking the product itself, not just the app, not just the website, but the overall design experience. Sort of, you would become the Johnny Ive of that company, right? Johnny Ive used to work at Apple and he had designed some of the most industrial, amazing, beautiful looking products at Apple. And that is the value that design can bring to any application. If you're enjoying this video so far, hit the like button, but let's talk about career number six and that is of a mental health professional. Yes, uh, you might not have heard about it yet, but there is a huge number of people which are going through difficulties, understanding themselves and facing problems with their own mental health. People are more lonely than ever. People are facing more difficulties. People are more afraid and confused than ever. And they're having a ton of mental health problems. Your role as a mental health professional is to understand these problems and hear them and come up with things they can do to improve their life and their mental well-being. It's a growing market where you would be working as a consultant, listening to people's life stories and problems and coming up with ways to improve. How can they get better with their mental well-being? You can become a therapist, you can become a clinical psychologist and to do that you need to have a BSc and MSc in psychology. And once you do that, you get your RCI license that basically you know, legitimizes your work as a therapist or as a mental health professional. But which company will you work at? You can either work as an independent consultant and get leads through social media, or you can register as a mental health professional on multiple applications. These apps have made it very easy for people to get online consultations for their mental health problems. And you can be a therapist on those platforms and make a living doing so. The only thing to understand is that while you are listening to other people's problems, these problems can in turn impact you and can also lower your own mental health. I'm saying this because I recently visited an amazing mental health event where I got to interact with a ton of mental health professionals and I got to learn about their lives and the problems that they go through and it was very interesting. So again, mental health professional is a growing and up and coming field which you can get into once you have a degree and a license. That is what you need to understand. You can either work as a consultant independently and get leads to social media or register yourself on these multiple applications that you can see on the screen. Next up, let's talk about the last top career of 2024 and that is of a video presenter. But what is a video presenter? Essentially, you would be working with companies and you would become the face of their brand on social media platforms. There are so many companies that are realizing that if they need to be relevant, if they need to get those shares and those likes, they need to humanize their brand. They need to have a human element in their content. 
and that is a great opportunity for you to take part of if you are charismatic if you are energetic if you can speak with confidence a great thing you can do is to start working as a video presenter for the funded startups of india you would basically help communicate their message through reels through youtube shorts through youtube long forms through podcasts through various different formats and you would basically become someone who creates content for them i personally did this in 2020 and for every video i was making for that company i was charging about 3000 rupees and i used to do about 10 to 20 videos every single month and i was able to make a good amount of money doing so and it was completely freelance basis you can also work full time as a video presenter in a lot of companies if you get the right company and they're able to pay you well so these were the top seven careers that you can get into in 2024 after your 12th grade or if you are in college make sure that you share this video with a friend of yours hit the like button and subscribe if you have any questions about any of these let me know below in the comments and i would love to help you out if you're still watching that in the comment section i watch till the very end thank you so much i will see you in the next video i wish you all the best for your career keep up skilling the description will have a list of courses and videos you can watch to get into any of these careers thank you so much i'll see you again